Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Vansh and I'm going to be giving you a tutorial for Adar today. First of all, I'd like to start off by thanking all of you for such an amazing response on Adar. I have been reading all of the comments recently and they're all really nice. So thank you for that. Secondly, a lot of you noticed that whatever I'm playing is classically influenced. That is in fact correct. I have been learning for the past 5 years or so and I believe it is the single most influential discipline that has impacted the way I play today. So let me know if you'd like a few lessons on that. I think it can be really helpful for anyone. And yeah, this is my first tutorial. So if you have any suggestions regarding the pace of the video or anything else that you would like me to improve upon, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Okay. So you have three chords. C sharp minor. B and A. The chord progression is C sharp minor. B A and then B. For the first chord C sharp minor, you have fourth fret on the fifth string, sixth fret on the fourth and third strings, fifth fret on the second string, and you're playing the top five strings. For the next chord, move the shape one up and then three frets up. So you have C sharp minor, move this one up, this is B. For the last chord A, move the shape two frets down. So you started with C, B, A. Now keep in mind, you're using these bar chord shapes, but actually you're not using the bar. So your first finger is not pressing down on the strings. But rather it's an open chord. So it's not this, it's this. The strumming pattern. So you can use the same chords and the same chord progression to play Vola Me as well. But now you need two bars of each chord. So you have... of the video what i recommend you do is watch me play pause the video and try and play it yourself and if you don't understand anything then look at the tabs okay the intro here's a complicated slide but you can do it with some practice it's basically that you're playing five notes in one stroke so you have
overall you have For this next part, hold C sharp minor, but this time you add the bar in, so you're playing the bar chord C sharp minor. The same strumming pattern as before. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. But this time you remove the middle finger for the first half and then add it again in the second half. So if I'm doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then you add the middle finger on 4. So look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the whole phrase that you're playing. to the main melody Next line. Keep in mind the slide that we took here. This is basically the slide that we took earlier, transposed. Next line.
You repeat the main melody now. And then when you finish this, you play. Next line. And then you have three fillers that you play after repeating this line once. So the first filler is The second one is The third one is Okay, with the main phrase, it sounds like this. And then the solo starts.
that is the end of the lesson thank you for watching and i'll see you next time take care